ICC and elementary school classes are all focused on climate change. So today we're going to read a story called Our Planet, There's No Place Like Her, which was written by Stacy McNulty and illustrated by David Litchfield. Hi, I'm Earth, also known as Planet Awesome, also known as your awesome home. Actually, I'm home to all the plants in the solar system and all the animals, including all the humans. That's nearly 8 billion people. Where else would you want to live? Where else could you live? On one of my seven siblings? Mars? He's too cold. All his water is frozen. Venus? She's too hot. All her water evaporated in that heat. Me, Earth, that's just right. My average temperature is 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Reasons I'm a perfect home planet, besides all my oxygen, water, and ice cream. Distance from the sun, an ideal 93 million miles in a zone that's not too hot and not too cold. My massive ocean absorbs extra heat helps make oxygen, and is very pretty. And my atmosphere, a blanket of gas that wraps me and you in a gentle hug. Hugs are nice. Without my atmosphere, my climate would be wacky and not good for flora, that's plants, and fauna, that's animals like you. Climate, seasonal weather over a long time, like 30 years and in a big region. Climate is not the same as weather. Weather, now or very soon and in a specific place. When climate does change, it should be slow, like 700 million years ago when I was a giant snowball for a long time. Or 55 million years ago when I was nearly ice-free for a long time. Crocodile-like creatures lived near the North Pole. But humans have accidentally moved my climate into the fast lane. I'm getting warm super quick. Uh oh. It's because so many human things need energy energy to make them, energy to move them, energy to use them. Sometimes energy leads to dirty water, dirty land, and dirty air. My atmosphere is getting messy, and this new blanket is very uncomfortable. It's making me sweaty. Icebergs are melting, oceans are rising, some land is flooding, other land is too dry and hot. Yikes, not good. Weather is getting wild, heat waves are dangerous, big time troubles. And when I'm in trouble, earthlings are in trouble too. While you humans are some of my favorite earthlings, please don't tell the aardvarks. You are not the only species that calls me home. My climate needs to be perfect for red pandas, green turtles, blue whales, black rhinos, great white sharks. Keep Earth colorful. Good news, it's not too late. We can stop passing the gas. Let me introduce some cleaner energies. Wind power, that's from, you guessed it, wind. Hydropower, that's from moving water. Human power, that's from your own two feet. Solar power, that's from the sun. Humans can share stuff, make and buy less new stuff, reuse the old stuff, and recycle the worn out stuff. And let's make more room for flora. Trees are good for cleaning the air, cooling off, and climbing high. There's no other planet like me in the solar system, and I need your help to stay awesome. Earthlings need me, and I need earthlings. We still love you, Earth. I hope so.